Okay, um, I'm just going to try and make this video really quick because I'm actually busy tomorrow, today. I'm actually busy today. And I'm sorry, John, uh, about, I noticed that so far, if you did post, then I don't know, it must not have gone through or something, but I didn't get it, so, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um, also, my hair looks really terrible. I just got out of the shower about maybe an hour ago. It's still not even dry, so... If you've ever tried to straighten your hair when it's wet, it doesn't work too well. So, Caleb, don't feel bad. Mine looks terrible, too. Now that we got that over with, um, Sam, I'm really glad that you came to the channel. Um, it's nice to have someone else from out of the states besides just John. Because, hey, that was kind of like Will and Grace. With the whole just Jack... Just, never mind, screw that. Um, what was I saying, even? Oh, out of the states besides just John. <laughs> also, because it's like we have three sections of the states from ah oh, Caleb now you decide to text back you know what just because you did this to me you know what Caleb I'm trying to cover up your last name but that's you big guy that is so you what is my video today about watch this you'll find out um i'm not gonna reply to you actually i might seem a little bit mean now but it'll all make sense later in the future it's going to make sense um yeah it seems rude now not to text you back but if i did text you back that would throw off this whole little section that i'm just going on about so yeah oh that reminds me caleb um a couple times I said 16 was the perfect age to piss off everyone older than you and be a total bitch to everyone younger. So, at the end of the video, I got something just for you. Sam, one reason I'm really glad to have you is because you're 17. So, I'm no longer, like, way, way younger than everyone else. And, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, kudos to you, Sam. Um, the reason I'm trying to make this quickly is because today, Tuesday... May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, yay! Wait till Cinco de Mayo! Um, that's Spanish for today's Cinco de Mayo. May 5th, whatever. Something that has to do in Spain, Mexico, somewhere around there. Big significance, I don't really know. I just know that we usually have a party in Spanish class, but we're not because there's AP exams going on and it's really stupid. But it is my one month anniversary between my boyfriend and I, and right now, I am probably at school, but my mom's going to pick me up right after school, then we're heading to his school to pick him up, and then we're going out to eat and maybe hanging out after I don't know but yeah so I'm busy and I'm really not gonna have time to make this video tomorrow which is why I'm making it today so yeah with that other way Grady on you asked about what our job was and it does suck to work at 16 but I actually started work at 14 the day before my birthday and it just happened to be the busiest day of the year for my job I work at an amusement park I'm not gonna give out its name because I don't feel like giving out its name but I am in food service, and yeah, so it's not a bad job, but it's nowhere near as cool as donating plasma. That is seriously epic. But Caleb, you would ask what our favorite book was. Um, I really don't read too much. It's a chore for me to even read what we're assigned to read in school. My least favorite thing I ever read was Julius Caesar. That was terrible. Like seriously, I hated it. I just totally bombed everything about it but my favorite book would have to be one <sighs> have to breathe my favorite book would be one that we had to read in fifth grade it was called maniac mcgee and it was really really good i really liked it i'd recommend it to anyone i have it on my bookshelf but i do not have time to go up and get it because it's like nine something now nine ten i don't know but i have to be in bed soon um sam way to join way to post on saturday that's still cool you know that was a thumbs up, just to let you know, but my hand got cut off. Um, it doesn't matter, the video was ten and a half minutes long. I know I've said that a couple times now, through several different places, but I'm just saying it here. Who's texting me now? <laughs> oh, we know, that's one of my best friends. It's all good. You asked what our favorite Starbucks was, or like if we have any coffee places. I know that in the state of Pennsylvania, we do have Starbucks, like everywhere at Starbucks, because it's fucking amazing. But, um, we also have this place called Coffee Bean, and that's all I know besides, like, Dunkin' Donuts. And you can also get, like, really good cappuccino or coffee or whatever at pretty much any gas station. But, um, that lo thing that you had said, the, I don't know, but the, the thing that the cute little Asian ladies had, 
<laughs> um, it sounded really, really good, and I think I'm gonna try it next time we go to Starbucks. But my favorite thing is the vanilla bean. It's kind of, it's not even really coffee or latte or whatever. It's just like vanilla y. Yes. Um, so, got those questions out of the way, and now I'm coming to mine. And my question is what is your biggest pet peeve? Mine would be when people confuse using don't and doesn't. They are two separate words, and they are not interchangeable. The reason I really hate this is because I notice it most commonly in redneck people. And I really dislike redneck people. I can't help it. Like, it's not just people who are mildly redneck, but it's like, when people are the redneck version of Richard Simmons. That just messes with me so bad. And my school is jam-fucking-packed with it, which is one reason I can't wait to get out of high school, but I'm only a sophomore, so it really sucks. Yeah. I don't know why I don't like rednecks. I just don't. Um, Caleb, you're the English major, so if you really want to, I'll let you explain the difference between don't and doesn't. Until next time, it's Tuesday. Peace out, Cub Scout.